Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another uh, bonus lab read. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Taurus. Topic of the reading is, what is it that they intend to have with you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, you really want to know the true intentions of your person. This reading will help you know that. I will be adding uh, messages uh, from this person as well in this reading, so stay tuned on the... Uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's see, Taurus, what is it that they truly intend to have with you, whoever it is that you're dealing with? Let's begin. Ten of Wands. Temperance, wow. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, this person really wants to put an end to the connection for now uh, and see where things go. I really feel like, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, probably they are done with um, with, the, with the way things have been between you and this person. Um, it can be them walking away from you, thinking that, you know, the connection is heading nowhere and they don't want to deal with this connection any further. Uh, the scenarios could be different for everyone out there, but I really feel like, you know, this person really see this connection as um, going nowhere. Um, and I feel like, you know, they have a lot of baggage from the past experiences as well. So do they want to stick around in the given circumstances? I really feel like the answer is a no. Um, this person really intends to um, start something new with you, but if and when it is mutual. They don't want to invest themselves into this connection until unless you are willing to give what they want. Uh, so I feel like, you know, for some reasons, they really believe the two of you are not on the same page right now. Um, probably they would be walking away from you uh, just because, uh, you know, there is a difference of uh, what you want and they want in this connection in the given circumstances. They would rather take some time off from this connection. Uh, let's see more cards here. Eight of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Justice. I feel like you know, this person is not at all happy with you for some reason. They really feel either you are not doing justice or they cannot do the justice in the in the connection right now. So um, I feel like you know they really are focusing on themselves for now. So if you are dealing with a specific someone who is um, ignoring you, neglecting you right now, I feel like you know either they believe that. Um, you know, it's all because of you or if not, then I feel like, you know, they have a lot of uh, baggage to drop off before they could give you what you want with them. So they might be doing their thing as they are doing their thing. They don't want anybody in their life for now. Um, I feel like, you know, they would really want um, to give into the justice in the connection or get justice. They really want everything to be balanced and uh, equal and mutual. So if you are having some issues with this person, it's because of them. I feel like that's the reason why they're pulled away. They want to get done with something and then they are going to come back to you or vice versa. They want you to get done with something and then go back to them. So there is a time apart is what I'm being, uh, you know, what I see here in this connection. Um, they really want justice. That's for sure. Uh, and they really want to do justice to you as well. So if there has been some issues going on, you might experience or you might already be experiencing some sort of time apart from each other because, uh, you know, they really feel like this is not what they want. The, the, the way things are between the two of you is definitely not uh, what, what they want out of this connection. Let's see more cards here. What else is um, it that they have on their mind? Hold on. So let's see, what else do they have on their mind? What else do they intend to have? I feel like, you know, for some of you, probably they really uh, don't want to have anything in love life right now. They are too focused on something else for themselves right now. So whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, I feel like, you know, either they are doing it uh, because you once kind of like, you know, push them away, or if not, that they really have other things on their mind to achieve right now before they get that. They are not going to give you what you want with them. So I feel like, you know, um, if you are having a time apart with this person and you really wonder what do they intend with you, I feel like, you know, they're all intentions or they're all focuses right now on themselves. 
or they are going to give into the connection with you if and when they are seeing that same effort and love and affection coming from your end um let's see how do they uh, see you right now in the given circumstances there is a lot of disappointment here in this connection right now either they are disappointed in themselves or you for sure let's see um now i feel like you know it can be um for some of you you might be dealing with the same sign as well um and i feel like you know if that's the case i feel like you know you both are disappointed in yourself and the connection as well so there could be like some things uh, which are um causing the delay in the connection and i feel like for now i really feel like you know you are invested in yourself and they are invested in them in, in themselves right now um and I feel like, you know, if, if it's their energy, I feel like, you know, they really feel that you are not giving into the connection to them. And that is something very disappointing to them. They really feel like you are so um, kind of uh, uh, focused on yourself right now that you don't care what, what they are going through or what their emotions are towards, uh, you know, whatever that is going on. Now, even if you feel like, you know, you are going to give into the connection when, when uh, you know, when uh, you can do justice to them or not. But still, they don't see it that way. I feel like you know they are unhappy with the with your attitude in this connection. They really want you to put effort into the connection. I really feel like you know they want you, they need you, but at the same time, they really want it to be mutual. They really want it to be equal. They really want it to be in you know where where the two of you are fully invested into each other. They don't want to have anything with you right now if it is not mutual. So if you are in a situation like that with your person, I feel like, you know, they are not going to give this connection another chance until unless it gets mutual. So if you really want this connection, I feel like you both have to be on the same page if you really want it to work. Let's see what is the oracle guidance for you in the given situation. Let's see what is the oracle guidance for you in the given situation. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of indecisions here. I feel like, you know, you have to make some choices. You have to make some decisions. You have to talk openly and honestly. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, it's more like you both want each other, but at the same time, you're not on the same page. So how do you take this connection further? So you need to sit down and talk to each other openly and honestly to make certain decisions and then um, heal uh, what is unhealed, uh, help each other heal as well. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot where where you both need to kind of like you know sit and talk about because i feel like uh you know there is a lot of misunderstandings being created here because of the lack of communication and openness around this communication that you have with this person so the divine really wants you to kind of like you know open up to have open heart to heart conversation with your person so you could resolve the issues let's see the last card for this read let's see what else the divine really want um you to focus on right now precious time the fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste other time either. Again, I feel like it's very important for you to know that you have to be sure that you're not wasting your person's time. No, they are wasting your time. So I feel like, you know, it's very important right now, probably, uh, maybe, you know, even if we talk about your person, maybe they also feel like, you know, being in a connection like this where you want something and then you are not putting effort into it is like wasting of time. So if you really love each other, you have to put the guards down for each other and then give it a time where you think about it, you talk about it openly and honestly, rather than wasting each other's time. Let's see a few messages from your person. What do they want to say to you? What do they wish to tell you right now? What do they wish to tell you right now? What is their message for you? Let's see. I will return back to you when ready. So this person really wants you to know that they are going to return back to you when ready. I bury myself and work to forget you. So right now, I feel like you know this person is also trying their best to avoid you, um, because uh, I feel like you know I really feel that uh, in their every energy, you know, in every card of their energy, I feel like you know they are trying to kind of like you know stay away from you because they are disappointed in you and the way things are between you and them. Um, but at the same time, they are going to return back to you. You are going to come back to each other once you both are ready to talk, to listen to each other, to understand, to resolve. And I feel like, you know, this person is trying to run away from you as of now. But yes, I do see that there will be a, a strong um, patch up coming in for you in this connection. But before that happens, I really feel like you both have to basically understand where you both are making the mistake. I feel like you have to sit and talk for this because I feel like until and unless you resolve the ongoing issues, 
you are not going to be happy together. No matter how many times you come together, you are going to part ways because of the same issues not being resolved. So yeah, that's pretty much just coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, to like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.